WHO 13's Roger Riley joins us live now to break down this decision. Plus, tell us how these staff members will be trained, Roger. Yeah, Janae, you know, this uh, This all came about, uh, some law enforcement folks were gathering here in Dickinson County, and they were talked about what they can do to improve their enforcement, and the Spirit Lake School Board voted to go ahead with this idea. We have four school districts and five police departments, along with the sheriff's office. So we had a joint meeting to come up with a uniform response, where everyone would respond the same way, because everyone would respond to an active shooter if if it would happen. Now the district is opening its doors for class this week, but the superintendent still must appoint 10 employees to be screened for this. The district is doing other security measures, locked doors, security cameras, even working with students and staff in age appropriate training. Tony Peterson of Peterson Firearms will do the training. He's worked as a law enforcement officer in Dickinson County for years. He will instruct those employees and help each learn how to handle a firearm in that situation. The training that we're going to run them through is our armed professional program, which is to deal with the, the mass killer and the mass casualty event. We plan on training school staff on how to deal with and how to confront the active killer uh, before they're able to uh, kill more. It's all about response time, and um, the more people to help, the better off we are. I mean, we're not the first one to major car accidents. We count on the people until we get there. And uh, Peterson's company is donating the training to the school district. The names of those employees who will get this training are not being released and the firearms they carry will be concealed so really no one will know and hopefully they'll never find out if they never have a need to find out here in Spirit Lake. That's the situation here. Okay, definitely a story we will be covering. Thanks a lot, Roger Riley.